Hello everyone, this is Zita from Heartstrings Connection and uh, today's energy update is we are going to be talking, we I do have Dara and Charu on call as well. Hello everyone. Hi everyone. So um, today and also thank you for all the support and love that we've received and uh, we have 200 subscribers and we value and cherish each one of you. Thank you uh, for all the support. So today's energy update, the energy that we've been going through for the past few days on the Divine Feminine has been very heavy. And I personally did go through that energies as well. And like Charu and Daira have been going through that energy, like a very fast kind of healing uh, energy. And this is having an effect on our twins as well. So... Um, while we were going through and like you know, getting the energy and like you know uh, tapping into and seeing what the messages father god came through today uh, for us when we were in meditation and this is i'm, I'm going to read the channel message from uh, father god um wherein he's talking about what the message which came through was about the divine feminine's contribution to the uh, epidemic that's been uh, widespread and it's going and then we all are feeling that energies as well and as well as our own uh, healing energies and how the divine feminine can contribute um, is the message from Father God. Um, he says, Dear Divine Feminine, we love you. You are ready to contribute. Every Divine Feminine will be visited by the Divine Team Connect to them and feel their presence. The healing is fastened. Um, bear through it and trust. Every divine feminine holds vibrational energy higher than any others. To contribute as per your very purpose. Surrender to the incoming fastened energies. Self-love is the key. Not only for your healing, but for the healing of the mankind. In this healing, through self-love of the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine's past life wounds will be opened up. This will serve as a portal for the Divine Masculine for them to experience energy and break their logical mind. This will mature their energy. The Divine Team will com comprise of the Divine Goddess energies along with the energy of angels to heal the past wounds through self-love. Connect through them every night as they work through you, through your energy body. See everything around you as a blessing. Allow the healing to take place. Surrender to the answers of your prayers, Father God. So this is the energy that we got from him and I shall be explaining more on what that is. So the main um, energy is that like we all have been going through the energy of the epidemic. We hear the news and it's affecting our energy as well in a very individual level because of the collective consciousness. So we are feeling that. So one, um, so when I was in meditation, the one thing the Father God wanted to make sure uh, well, very evident is that like every divine feminine holds a vibrational energy higher than of anyone else no matter how far along you're on the journey you know how near or like how far and it really doesn't matter you know if it when just awakening or you know how much of healing you're done and you know your spiritual gifts or it doesn't have to do with anything so when you're a twin flame and you're a divine feminine we already hold that energy of uh, being love and our vibration energy is higher than that of anyone else is the energy what I was going through and um, as a part of Hastings connection me Charu and Daira we've always put that messages out that we all are in this together so every one of you are love and love in every cell we are whole and we don't have to try and be love we are love and this love is what an experience of the energy is what we are here we and all the divine feminine are here not because we've heard something about the twin flames and or you know we heard about or read a post about 11 11 right like we've gone through that energy we've experienced energy and because of our own testimony of the energy experience we are here so um that it, as um, is well is also playing an important role is what i'm hearing for the divine masculine and as the divine feminine um goes to the healing which um self-love is a key i'll explain more about it like how that is going to like work but he also explained that the divine masculine past life wounds are going to be opened up so the supernatural 
uh, pain of the div- uh, divine feminine right the pain that we go through is like unexplainable sometimes we get confused uh, with whatever we're going on with the body or if it is you know a uh, reality of we just have no explanation of the pain level that we go through which is way beyond any explanation of any human is going through right so that is why we are on this journey because we had that experience of the energy and we understanding this energy so through the healing of the divine feminine which is the self love which i'll be explaining more on um will serve as a portal for the divine masculine to experience energy and break the illogical mind is what i'm hearing so this epidemic and this current energy and the healing that the divine feminine will be doing is going to like break open the um, uh, divine masculine's past wounds so they are going to be experiencing it on the end about what energy really is and you know we cannot talk to the divine masculine about uh, our awakening they do not understand it it cannot be explained to them unless it is um experience so this energy is also going to make the divine masculine go through that portal of their past life pain because only through healing can we move forward so that is going to be open for them so that they mature the energies and involve is another beautiful information that uh was uh, passed on to us and another thing is about the self love so we see that a lot of um the collective conscious right with all uh, the epidemic the um, scare the panic which is like uh, happening another thing about the virus is that it's it's not what we think it is is what i'm hearing it's like curable and for all that the divine feminine goes through for all that we go through uh, the ascension symptoms and everything i think you know like uh, Um, it's just like any other virus is what i'm hearing another thing what i'm hearing is that we do not have to panic about it and like um and be of help how we can be of help is another collective energy of the divine feminine the only healing is through self love so i'll explain more on it it's, it's the self love part of it has connection to our past lives so through many past lives we do not understand the term twin flames and we did not know how to heal certain things for example like losing someone we love or the energy of love itself was like too heavy for us and it created a lot of wound in our energy and hurt and we went through what we went through uh with the past life scenarios but we weren't we weren't in a place to understand and heal and that's what we bought in this lifetime so we're healing literally you know like the battle you know is healing our past our present and the future so all of this was a reason the pain that you went through because we did not know how to have that self love we did not know how to heal ourselves at that time but now i feel that the energy of the divine feminine have graduated in in a way wherein that um we are able to send that love back into ourselves so only by healing yourself through self love having self love and um concentrating more on your energy um towards your heart and towards your own being is what is going to help the collective is the energy that i'm getting so um also i feel like the energies are very fast like for example um you just kind of like have a clarity you just come out of one energy there's onset of another energy it is heavy yes but it's the you know answers to our prayers like we heard in the channeling it's we've been waiting for this this 2020 energy have um fast and it's kind of like it's speed up for the divine feminine and just release just keep releasing and self love is a key through self love more we can kind of heal more energy bowls are going to open what i mean by that is the more healing you do more strong you get and then uh, that's the healing that you do so when you're healing you're not only healing within you but you're healing everyone around you so you raise the energy of mother gaia so this is the energy this is the energy of the divine feminine and uh, that's the only way that uh, you can go through healing is uh, what i'm here and uh, yeah uh, and also about the divine team when he mentioned about the divine team uh, will be comprised of the divine goddess energies along with the energy of angels to heal the past wounds through self love so all of the times that we've been hurt for example if you hurt by it when it's just that you long for his presence because you know we are weak in that time right like we go to a place of um anxiety pain and longing for your twin longing for our twin and 
um, that was because we did not have that amount of self-love within us, right? So this has been happening to us for a long um, number of time, like past life wounds when others have hurt us because we did not have that self-love. That itself was a big clarity for me because last night I went through something and when the answer was like it wasn't them, you know, because even understanding that love is uh, a superpower, love is the strength, took me a long time on this journey because of, you know, being sensitive and being hurt very easily. So last night that was a message which came through when I was going through a difficult time that like the message that I heard, which was very loud and clear words, it's not them it's you you know so that showed me that you know I didn't have the strength I didn't have that strength of kind of like you know pulling myself up and or the self-love so now that we have like been on this journey for a long time and like known how to heal and like be loved so this is a time that we can uh, surrender to um, self-love take care of ourselves and like through self-love so only through self-love so I know I'm repeating it but that's a message I'm hearing it over and over so heal and hold your heart and send a lot of love to yourself as and when the panic arises as and when you want to like you know contribute to the society around you um just just hold yourself down like be in meditation and like you know uh send love to your heart be your own best friend the energy that's what i'm hearing and the divine team will comprise of divine goddess energies so i'm sensing the energies of uh, Kalima, Goddess Isis, uh, Mother Gaia, Mother Mary's energy is coming through along with energy of angels, Archangel Raphael, Archangel uh, Michael, uh, Archangel um, Shamuel energy of the pink energy so they are going to come through us and open that and help us heal the past uh, life wounds or the past wounds wherein we didn't have that uh, self-love energy so uh, connect with them every night you know they're going to work through your energy body and help us like heal and one more important message that I um, heard from him in the explanation was that connect um, through self-love and see everything as a blessing and when they were well, the meaning behind the words see everything around you as a blessing for example like um every time you kind of like go through something i've like discussed it in my previous videos so every time you go through something heavy and you want healing and you going through it you know there is something which happens for example the coffee spills or like you're delayed and, you know at some point in time or like you know be it your you know your apartment rent or bill dues or you know or you see a dead um insect a dead animal or anything that sort like it scares your energy right it kind of like jolts your energy to another place creating a lot of trauma with because your energy is already because our energy is already low we get affected in a bad way but to see that everything around you so every obstacle and everything is the answer to our prayers just surrender you know just just surrender and love the healing know that something good is going to come out of it and be love and just surrender and be loved so only you know when you're loved you attract love and you attract the healing so these are the answers to your prayers because energies are very dense and it's coming through for healing so just allow the healing to take place and surrender to the answers of your prayers is what we heard from father god so that was a beautiful uh message and uh also about the divine masculine awakening their past life wounds and uh, what i mean by that i want to talk more on or what i'm hearing is that divine feminine go through each and every divine feminine go through their own um you know unexplainable kind of a pain the phobias that they go through are like not normal the way that the pain that we go through is very individual and but surrendering and surrendering to the Your energy is what I'm hearing. So surrendering um, through that. So okay. So as we surrender through that, the divine masculine are going to be awakened to that, you know, pain. So whatever we went through, so that that kind of like gives them an understanding and opens their energy up for um, maturation and their energy evolves. So, so that's the energy for the divine masculine and all of this can happen through self-love and it is a time to serve the purpose is what I'm hearing is going to like fund our energy, not only like fund us, but the energy of the 
mankind is the energy self love self love is a key so uh, take good care of yourself with um, healing and uh, we'll uh, try to do as much as uh, pass possible uh, live on facebook and as well as light language activations and um, do connect to us and um, let's do it together and like have so on today's um, video even we're going to be doing um, what I'm hearing the light language activation is going to be of self-love connecting we're going to be doing light language uh, healing connecting self-love and as well as well as connecting the energy to the energy of a divine masculine through that so first we heal and then we connect and heal the um, anger related to a divine masculine is what I'm hearing the anger and um, the non-communication and not um, the non-communication and the misunderstanding the misunderstanding that's happened between the divine masculine and the divine feminine so we're going to be um, healing that in the end of the video so um, yes another thing um, I want to talk about uh, Daira and Charu uh, what I saw in them today uh, was or yesterday I think uh, the pain is the, I was going through something uh, the pain was very high and that's when I, I saw the energies of Dairas and Charu and like connecting to the divine feminine energy as well and that's when I understood the energy of the divine feminine being very uh, high and uh, it's not about where we are at on a journey or anything uh, it's all about you being divine love and uh, the messages of being um, loved you're all in your whole and you're loved and blessed and you're here to serve your purpose and the divine beings are going to be right by us the divine team is going to be right by us is what i'm hearing also i'm going to thank charu and diver for being by me going through uh, this difficult time and um, as well as i feel the energies of the twins going through um, difficult times and and uh, we are grateful for every divine feminine who's going through it we are by you and like thank you for being um, and healing because that is energy which is helping every one of us and as collective we all are connected and like thank you for healing on everyday basis and thank you for like being love and trying to be love um and trying to um start these energies and you know and be on this journey and one thing one more thing that i would want to uh, explain was that the death energies are quite um painful right like the things that we go through but um especially when you go through very intense energies we will be out of it right like uh, that's how we are here after years and years and years because we've gone through multiple death and we are still here so uh, we do have the strength to go through it but when you're going through it one thing i would request all the divine feminine to understand is that we are going to come out of it and do not hate on this journey at that particular time because you're in your subconscious energy at that time so no matter what's happening if whether it is for this lifetime or the next lifetime and because the death energies are really do feel like the end of the world so let us surrender and be love you know like do not hit on this journey thank for everything that is around you and like be love until you know you go through the pain and you're out of it just just do not like add more like you know don't go backwards but just be love though we do not have any clarity at that particular point in time and do not hate on the journey is one message i want to like give the divine feminine because um, we do understand like how difficult it gets sometimes but we go through um, a lot of things and uh, yeah that's 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 one thing that's the energy like do not hate on this journey do not hate on yourself do not hate on your twin do not hate on that uh, energy because it's very easy to do so you know it drives us into madness but just be love and be grateful for all for the life that we've lived and um, thank for all the blissful moments that we've been through and like go through the energy in that way and if any one of you want to know how to you know understand purge portals please watch our videos but i've explained the channeling that's given to us and the power how to um, self-heal that's the self-healing when uh, self-healing is um self-healing and connected to your spiritual gifts all of this whatever we hear about 
healing and self-healing and all of that and higher connections everything happens through the purge portals it doesn't happen any other time so all your gratitude and everything leads you to the next purge portal and leads you to the next purge portal so kind of like it's a healing so once you know how to work with the purge energies once you know how to work with these energies you're out of it and it heals you so that's the, the um, energy that um, we received so for is there anything you want to add yes um i would like to add one observation which i've been noticing is um when the ch in the channel prayer father god says um surrender to your prayers and just um bear through those energies that come through um when I was going through the heavy energies and it was uh, like the recurrences, like the moments we came clarity and then next minute is like, next moment is another um, moment of, that we go through. Um, an observation that I've noticed is that we always do get what we want at the end of it. We always do get, um, the prayers are always answered and we always do get what we want at the end. Um, when we ask or when we pray for something or when we wish or we always do end up getting it we just have to have that trust and bear through it and see everything as a blessing because just just trust and just already know that we always always do at the end of everything is oh something always good comes out of it something beautiful always comes out of it and it is very beautiful and if you do look at your life now in this moment um you're here because of those experiences and that's very beautiful and so that's just proof that some only beautiful things comes out of it and that's what i wanted to share that's that's very beautiful um that's really uh beautiful yes like we kind of like need to allow certain things because when we go through the energy our energy spikes up and it kind of like we're already going through so much and there's so many doubts you know if anything spills if you hit your toe or like anything you know like whatever and uh, it can be like a um, number you kind of look online and then they have anything you know anything and everything kind of like jolts that energy but if you can just be love and like a love is the energy what uh, i got from when i was speaking i love it to happen so that's beautiful mm -hmm. Yeah, and like for me, there are moments where I'm faced with situations that come into my experiences and then I was one where I didn't want to face them or I wasn't sure to face them. But if we could just like be in that energy and just face it with all the love, um, knowing that something beautiful always comes out of it and it's always something that you've wanted that always comes to you at the end. And I've noticed those experiences where um, I had to go through an experience and then it wasn't something that I truly didn't want because I wasn't feeling that. Um, but at the end of it, I do gain more. Yes, so um, th th that's, a beautiful, like, that's a beautiful experience that we can talk about. So uh, Dara did amazing healing uh, with that uh, energy. So what I'm hearing um, to be conveyed is that like we really do not have to just take care of the way that you feel is what I'm hearing. Like, you know, you're put in certain situations, do not give the energy with your surroundings or what the other person is making you feel, but rather than like being in an energy of like what you feel, right? Like being that energy of how you would want to feel and where you want to be. And that energy kind of like solves everything out. You know, you, we don't have to think about the outcome of it. So that's the energy what uh, Dara uh, is talking about and uh, the healing. That was really beautiful, Dara. Like, thank you for sharing. And that's something we all can, like, uh, you know, uh, do. Is that, like, because we go through so many things and we do not have the control of it. You know, we go into a panic attack and we do not know, like, because we think from an outside us. We think outside us of the factors that's affecting us. So it should be 
factors that is affecting us from the inside that's what matters like how you are feeling and no matter where it's leading you just go with the flow just go with the flow for wherever it is and whatever it is and just you know hold your heart and like feel what you want to feel in that moment that's it so when you keep going through in that phase is like that and that's when things starts like um, coming back and solving and and you feel better in that moment than what you kind of anticipated in your head it doesn't you know get to that place so all of this so even that i'm mentioning that uh, energy talks about self love you take care of yourself first see how you want to feel and like be there for yourself and be your own best friend and like be in that energy and like tara said like in the end like everything falls the way that you want to feel you know so it's all about the feeling and it's all about like taking care of yourself it's it's always the energy of being home being home no matter where you are at no matter what situation you are at just be home um you have yourself and like be there and be home and have that energy and that's all there is to it whether you put into a bad situation or you know something good so through whatever you anticipated uh, good comes through mm-hmm. especially during this time where with the whole epidemic um that you are always home is so important just to feel that to have self love and you know wherever you go in the world um wherever you're feeling or whatever it is you're always home and when you're home that's when you have that self love self love you always feel at home when you're home and you have that self love you're always safe you always feel safe that's very beautiful that's very beautifully said thank you darling um so this is a light language uh healing that we are asked to do so please do light you know come the divine feminine cover your um head with a shawl and have crystals with you and drink water prior to it and two candles so we have light to do um, candles so this activation light language activation is going to like help the divine feminine lose their weary energy that we are going through we've been through so much weary energy within us so we're going to be uh, asking for removing this heavy energy on us this weary energy and helping us to tap into our self love and um, the later part where in um, through this healing connect to our divine masculine and like forgive is what i'm hearing forgive the miscommunication forgive the hurt is what i'm uh, hearing all right so Yeah. Mm-hmm.
was a beautiful message so the energies which was coming through uh, the light code activation was that they were informing divine feminine that every leaf here on mother earth loves you every drop of rain every drop in the ocean the energies around you love you so much and they recognize you the spirit animal guides they recognize you we appreciate your presence and your healing. So you're all loved by every grain of the sand and the nature, by every leaf. You all love the divine feminine is what I heard. And then it was the higher beings, the angels, appreciating what we're going through and our healing and the importance of our healing and everything that we do we are immensely appreciated as a message they were working with the heart chakra to open that energy up and now with this light language uh, they're going to connect to our divine masculine and heal the hurt open that up and like the reconnection with the divine masculines through love Was like beautiful so the energies and like the activation that came through was our souls opening up to the better half of ourselves and was raising the divine masculine and 
connecting us with the energies, blessed with the energies of the Sirius Sun and protected. So telling how precious the Divine Masculine are to us, our Divine Masculine and saying that we love them in every cell and helping them raise above pain and be loved. So just made the energy of the Twin Flames very light and thank you for um, hearing and hope this um, healing touches every twin. We're connected with the energy of every twin. We're all in this together. We love you and thank you for appreciating our work and love and support and you're beautiful. Your love in every cell and we're in this together. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.